Okay, uh, April 12th, Happy Dog Farm, 2018. Uh, hoping to spray tomorrow, but it's windy. It's too windy. And how do I know it's too windy? I don't, you know, that helps a little bit. But I really am careful about it, and I also record the temperature. And I want to share with you what I've been using actually for a couple years now, a very affordable, um, almost disposable, if you break it, you don't cry over it, a little wind temperature gauge. And this one, I get this right, it says KK Moon on it. That's the brand it was branded at. This is the current version of it, but you can see I, I spared no expense, $14 on Amazon. Um, and it's a really nice little unit, so I wanted to show it to you. It uses a single coin battery. I change it once a year, and it will measure the slightest breeze. It really will. You just turn it up into the wind. You'll get a sense of it. It has a peak indication on it, and it gives you air temperature, and it's metric or us. Uh, quickly, the... Uh, I'm going to try and just use the picture that's up on the internet. Oh, I have to use this. Okay. The little fan that you see up, up on the top, that is really, really sensitive to the slightest breeze. The hole beneath it is where the thermistor is. And as the wind goes through it, it's very responsive to changes in air temperature. It's a really nice unit. I like it. Uh, good display. Very clear. I, I got to say, it's very clear, and in a pinch, it's backlit. Okay, so if you're early morning, late evening, you still need to use it, and it's a little dark, you can't get light on it, it's backlit. The moment you turn it on, it's it lights up, and then you can just press the set or mode button for a moment, and it will light up again. If you flip it over, you can change it from... Celsius to Fahrenheit uses a standard 2032 coin battery, and I use a lot of those. My Kestrel D3 uses the same battery, so this is really kind of nice for me. I don't have to keep a lot of specialty batteries around anymore, and I did. I don't have to do it. Um, I just keep 2032s around. They're lithium. They last a long time. It's great. This is a better shot. You can see that little temperature probe in there, and then you can see the little wind turbine that it runs on. So that detects the uh, the wind speed. Uh, yeah, it actually comes with a, a lanyard. And I've thrown it around my neck and stuck it in a shirt pocket sometimes uh, just for my convenience. Um, so I guess I'm going to say, yeah, I really do recommend you, you don't guess that you know what your wind speed is when you're spraying so that you minimize your risk of drift. And I'm saying that this has proven to be a reliable and affordable solution for me. If you looked at some of my earlier videos, you'll notice um, I have one on there that I have a mailbox where I go into the orchard and everything gets shoved in the mailbox all summer long. So I don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff on the tractor in my pockets. I just put it in the mailbox. My spray tips are in there. My field guide for disease and pest detection is in there. Flagging tape is in there. It's a, just a really handy place to put stuff. This goes in there. Now, one thing, because it has a simplified front panel, you know, it doesn't. It has two buttons, and uh, that doesn't tell you a lot. I keep the manual. Well, that's not it. I have the manual near me. That's the prescription for my glasses. Anyway, I keep the manual in a Ziploc bag. So it's always close at hand. That's not it either. Anyway, I'm probably sitting on it. But I keep the manual in a Ziploc bag. When I'm done with it, I zip it up. And the advantage to that is little spiders and stuff get in the mailbox. They don't get into the gunks of this. It just keeps them out. Look, I found it. There it is. So this is it. Now, if you like my videos and you're thinking about buying one of these, I'm going to ask you to please buy it here. And follow the link that's going to be right on the bottom. I have an affiliate thing, and um, I have never got anybody to buy any of my affiliate links. Please do, because if I don't generate a little bit, I lose it. I don't get to do it anymore. I've been demonetized by YouTube, um, and that puts a pinch on my budget. 
So when I recommend something, if you actually buy what I recommend, please follow the link. It won't cost you a penny more, I promise. So that's it. Uh, everybody, if you haven't looked at the Mary Blight videos, please do. Save yourself some trouble. Uh, and that's why I was out scouting. Um, the trees are waking up. The fruit buds are swelling. Uh, I lost a lot of apical meristems. The deer took them off. So I'm watching to see what happens. Who's going to take apical dominance on those damaged limbs? Wish me luck. So my best to all of you. And I'll be back. Take care.